Here with the ratio to pause ratio, uh, you have uh, Be Your Best and the PG Johnson going on Thursday, one in the 16th on the turf. Uh, horse loved to look like loved the turf here last time out. How's the horse been training? Uh, she's been training great. Uh, she came out of that race in good order, had two good works, and uh, you know, coming into it in good order. As you can see right now, you're all geared up. You get on some of your own horses. Um, have you been on this horse? Yeah, she trains early in the morning. So, yeah, I've been galloping her since she's been here. So, she's, she's happy. As a trainer, what do you feel that does that give you? What, do you understand a little bit better when she's really ready or, or what type of distance? What, what does that advantage give you by getting up on your own horse? It mostly just gives you, you know, information as far as how they're feeling, how they're hitting the ground. Um, usually try to get on all my horses just to see how they're moving, um, you know, get some information back. So this horse looks to be the favorite coming into this race. Um, we're going 1 16th, 1 and 1 16th on that inner turf. We've had a little bit of rain the last couple of days. Last race, the horse came from pretty far back to close here. Do you think you'll have a little bit of advantage if we get a big cut in this turf? Possibly. I mean, it's hard to say how everybody's going to handle it. Um, hopefully the track will dry out some, you know, today and into tomorrow. So, um, you know, it'll be the first time that she runs on the turf course like that. Off, based off her first race, you don't have a lot of information. So. I guess we just have to see how she handles it. Horatio the Paz with Be Your Best in the PG Johnson this coming Thursday. Oklahoma training track with Jason Blewett of West Point. Jason, before we get the flight line, which everybody's been waiting for, I got to ask you today, grade three with anticipation, you have a horse going for Shug McGahee that had a beautiful maiden breaker last time, Battle of Normandy. How's the horse been training? He's trained, he's trained really, really well out of that race, Andrew. Shug was under the impression Battle of Normandy might need a race first out. He had certainly trained well and was forward and really like a month and a half before Saratoga began was when like the proverbial light bulb went on with Battle of Normandy which was why he started up here on Whitney Day but I think he the cult even exceeded expectations going in. We were hoping he'd run well, but again, I think he exceeded that and he's he's trained, he's breezed a, a few times since that race. I've seen all of them right over here behind us on the uh, Oklahoma turf course and, and all systems go today. It doesn't look, and you always respect the competition, but it doesn't look like an insanely deep feel where you don't really have sort of like, oh, that horse is a monster. They all look fairly even and and he drew inside, and let's see how it goes. A little bit of rain the last two days, cutting the turf, closer like this. How do you think it'll play to him? Yeah, I don't think it'll 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 bother him. Obviously, he's got to go out there and do it. And although he's got some size, he's a very agile, nimble horse who just gets over the ground very smoothly. I mean, we saw that first time out. Um, so again, just just given how well he travels, I I don't think rain soft and turf should hinder him whatsoever and look i mean you've got the progression of a maiden breaker the race today the with anticipation name for a horse that i just love back in the day for augustine and jonathan shepherd so it would be an honor uh, to win that race and then the pilgrim downstate at aqueduct and then hopefully the breeders cup uh, juvie turf we got the uh, the the plan out there as of right now um, but i have to ask you flight line what do you think of the draw and you know this is a horse some people people are saying generational compared to ghost sapper um what do you guys think of that draw for you yeah a great draw i mean if you had to choose my wish list would have been outside uh maybe it won't matter hopefully it doesn't matter even if he was down inside but no i mean you know clearly six horse field aside drawing stall five just gives gives Flavian a chance to play the break as it all those cliches you hear as far as being able to play and look look at how things are uh, playing out again after they open up the starting gate doors but all systems go with him um, you know people have been waxing poetic as far as covering his training this summer at Del Mar and again you talk about old tired cliches you know I'm trying not to get into that that area but I mean, it's beyond exciting having having this horse as a as a West Point horse, and you know, T minus Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're at four days now to the uh, Pacific Classic, so amped up beyond belief. Hoping to have a watch party here in Saratoga with some of the partners that aren't going to be at Del Mar. My parents are up from Florida, so really looking forward to a Saturday with him. And we've got first captain running in the Gold Cup here at the Spa, so 
Hopefully it's a, a multiple grade one winning afternoon for West Point Thoroughbreds. Well, West Point got their thousandth win. I think you're probably at 1,002, 1,003, something like that right now. I have to ask, last question off flight line, distance shouldn't be an issue? Look, I mean, he's bred, he's a tap, and he's bred to go long, and as fast and as brilliant as he's been, he does seem to be a horse that does rate really kindly. And, I mean, John Sadler could spend the next hour just talking about the kind of job he's done. I, I, I just, I can't imagine, I'm not a horseman, but I can't imagine the kind of, and not that he's complained or even mentioned it once, but the amount of just pressure he must feel day in and day out trying to manage and campaign this horse and clearly John and, and Juan Leva who gets on on flight line every day they've done a masterful job even just getting him to slow down and relax in his works he's much like Battle of Normandy today with the rain soft and turf at Saratoga I mean flight line's got to go out there and do it but I'm confident I'm confident that that 10 10 furlongs won't be an issue for him well, West Point's got quite the weekend ahead of them. Jockey Club, the Pacific Classic, and then today with the with anticipation, good luck on the races. All right, thank you, Andrew, and have a great weekend and week, everybody. The Abreu Barn, LaChasey going today in the with, with anticipation. What did you guys learn out of that maiden breaker? Well, he did everything so professional, you know, kind of settling, doing the part of the race. He was poorly placed, and when, asked, when Flavian asked him to go, he moved on. So moving, changing jockeys today from Flavian to Jose. I think there's a lot of jockey changing going around right now with guys going to Kentucky Downs, out to California and such. Horse uh, has a little bit of cut in the turf today. How do you think that'll affect the, the pace setup? You know, he's such a light frame horse. I think he's gonna suit him perfect. He's like a little deer. And the fact that Jose working makes me feel good. Jose Breeze and last breeze on the turf. This race here today seems one of the flatter grade threes you've had in a while where there's no real standout, you know, one to five, seven to five type of horse. How'd you think the race drew? I mean, I like the pose we got and I don't see nothing like you say, like a while there. Everybody's kind of even, so it's, I think it's an open field. Well, grade three with anticipation say on the listed as good turf. We'll see it has much of a cut it has in it. Good luck. Thank you much.